Good day to all ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my art studio. My name is Khan and today we are going to create Bird Island from Angry Bird movies. Angry Birds are my most favorite video game of all time and now the movies. I'm going to make this diorama with the polymer clay and I will make this thing under $20. Also, I will try to make this thing as realistic as possible. And then we will see how it goes. So without wasting any more time, let's draw that. Alright, so first of all, I collect some very fine reference images from the Angry Bird movie. However, I couldn't find the top view map of it. But so far, I got this one, which is still a good thing. So in the end, I come up with my own map, which is close to the original one. I also cut out the main outline template for the main base. This is the non-stick oven tray. And also I'm gonna use this as a guide and as a main base until I finish my main modeling. For the initial base, I am using Sculpey clay. This clay is very cheap and will cover your whole model very well. I use some cornstarch to prevent from the stickness and will roll your clay very easy and smooth. After I roll my clay, I place my template on top of it and gently cut out the excess clay. Before you bake your base, make sure the edges are well smooth and has no pointy surface. So I baked my base for 30 minutes at 240 Fahrenheit and before you touch it, please allow the clay to completely cool down. For the sea land, I am using this same white sculpey clay. And for the shades, I am using this cheap clay that I bought it from Amazon. And honestly, this project doesn't require high quality clay like Fimo. Anyways, now I am spreading this sand color clay around all the base and make sure you smooth it up after cause we don't want any fingerprints on it. Now I'm working on the pumps. Here I am drawing some rough lines so I can know where the bumps are and then I am covering it up with the clay. If you want to save some clay you can put the aluminum foil underneath the clay. Since the Sculpey clay is super cheap, so I am not worrying about the clay. After you are done with the pumps, bake your model for at least 40 minutes to set everything up. Then after, I am gonna work on the big side mountains. For that, 
Again, I am using this cheap clay. By the way, it's a free choice. If you want, you can use some very high quality clay like Fimo. Here is the main trick to create mountains. I am not mixing my clay completely. Just mix a very little until you get this color variation. Once you're happy with your desired color, simply place your clay around the base wall and create some rock texture with the help of modeling tool. After you're done with the mountains, bake your model again for 30 minutes. And this is how it looks when you bake. Now I'm gonna do some greenery. And for that, I will create 3 or 4 green color shades and apply as the patches. And then blend all together. I will also do the paint job later. So if you want, you can do this step in only one color and do the color variation later either way works perfect This step is a little bit time consuming, so have patience while doing that. Here as you can see, I am applying some different green color of clay and in the same time, I am blending together. Once you're done with the greenery and your entire model get covered, use different sizes of brush and tap it for the rough grass kind of texture. While our model in the oven, we can create some mini mountains. We're gonna do the same thing as we did with the big mountains, but this time I will go with different color. And here I am making the legendary Mighty Eagle Mountain first. Creating this and Mini Mountain are so much easy and fun. And also you can create with so many ways. All you have to worry about is it should meet our guidelines and it should match up with our original design. And as you can see, I am also adding rock texture into it. So I baked this one and all the mini mountains that you will see later in this video. And now I am adding some greenery on each side of top. This step is completely unnecessary but worth the effort. And here are our mini mountains. They are very simple to make like I mentioned before. I made them with the same process and the technique as we did with the big mountains. So our main model is baked and so ready for the further modeling. Apply little amount of wet glue first and then place your mountain or you can also use super glue. After that I put small balls of clay and shape it as mini mountain around the big mountain. Then 
Then I place the pre-baked mountain with the super glue and create more mountains around them and try to blend everything nicely. And also I am placing them according to our design but you can go randomly. I also placed some more mini mountains on the sea land. When you are done, bake your model again for 30 minutes. So after when it's fully baked and completely cooled down, I am applying some green patches for some greenery. And in the same time, I am blending in between the rocks. You can also do this before you bake. But working on a pre-baked model is much easier and more efficient and plus you don't have to worry about the work you just did earlier. This color patches would be random and also I will apply 2 or 3 shades of green and later I will also give it a paint treatment. Also don't forget to give your green a grass texture as we did it earlier with a small brush. So the thing is I completely forget about the lake. So what I did here is apply some new layer of clay and make your lake on top of it. You might need to scrap some of the clay underneath for more space. Before I go further on lake and make some adjustment, I am giving a blue color of coal and some highlights and later we will make some water. Once your paint is dry, make some mud color boundaries around it and later we will blend this with the paint. Creating waterfall is so simple, I just take white and blue clay and roughly mix and make a stripe. So I bake my model one more time and I let it completely cool down. Now I'm gonna give my model a black wash. This is a mix of 110 ratio. And always check your color consistency before you apply on a model. This step is not necessary but I told you at the very beginning of the video that I am gonna make this as realistic as possible. So that's why I am doing this. I am applying only on rocks and mountains and keep this in mind. When your black wash is dry, it dries 3 times lighter than it seems. Black wash dries so fast so after that I am gonna give my rocks and mountains a highlight. You can choose any light color of highlights so I choose beige umber. The color I am using are acrylic paints. These paints are perfect for clay modeling and they dry very fast. So after that I am gonna do a green color makeover on the ground. Use different shade of green and try to blend all together to look like a forest. I also use red, orange and blue colors for flowers and also acrylic paints dries 2 times lighter from your first coat. 
so you might need two or three cords. While our paint is drying, let's work on the main base. This is 11 by 14 inches foam board. I bought 6 for $3. And for sea and water, I have this EVA foam. So first I cut EVA foam right on my board size and fix it with the super glue. Then I place my main model into center and again fix it with the super glue. For the C first I'm gonna give my base a dark blue tune around the edges. Make sure you follow the curves and corner of your C land. When the paint is dry, blend the edges with clean thick brush with the help of water or paint thinner. This is the light green and light blue, a mixture for land water. Also I'm gonna mix this with mud podge or white glue. When your mixture is ready, simply apply your mixture around the sea land. When your mixture dry, it will leave a very light tune of color and that will be perfect for our sea. Now in the same mixture, I am adding dark blue for the edges and quickly apply on a foam and try to blend both mixtures. You can also use airbrush for the C shades and when the paint is dry, just apply white glue on top of it. I don't have the airbrush yet, so that's why I am showing you guys this method of creating C. However, the end result will be the same. This is how it looks when it dries. So I'm gonna give two or three more coats of mud podge or clear glue. Just keep this in mind. Use the brush edges to create water ripple and waves. This is my first coat. I'm gonna make some big waves. And second or third coat will be about smaller waves. So it's been about 3 hours and my glue still need more time to dry. However, it's dry enough that we can work on. So I'm going to place mini mountains on the sea according to our map. I already modeled and baked my mountains while my glue was drying. Use a very little amount of super glue to place your mountains. So after that I'm gonna give my ocean another coat of thick glue and this time I'm gonna go with small waves. One more thing I like to mention here, glue is not the only option for creating the waters. I mean there are several ways to create perfect water like you can go with water effects or acrylic proxy or resin. But that costs you a lot of money and by the way I have my upcoming projects where I will use this type of high quality stuff. Anyways, so the only reason of choosing glue here cause of my budget. I really wanted to make this project under 10 or 15 dollars and mud potch is super cheap. I have whole big jar that cost me only 15 dollars. So the choice is yours. Now it's been the whole day and my glue is completely dry. So it's time to do some final touch ups. Here I am using white acrylic paint to create some white water foam. Use very fine brush and take your time while doing this.
and in the last i am adding more glue on the leg that we almost forget about it but it turned out pretty well after that let it dry for at least one day and then you will have your bird island ready to fly So I really hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and get advantage out of it and also you will find all the details about this project under the description box below. And if you like this kind of art content please subscribe to my channel and also if you have any questions regarding this video please comment down below. So until my next video, bye bye.